Hello everyone. Um, I know this is a weird intro, the way I'm just starting off this video. I think I'm definitely doing it vlog style because just we're going right now to my hairdresser to cut my hair. I'm doing a big chop, guys. I'm chopping my hair off. So that's why you see my hair like this. Um, I like going with my hair washed and detangled because I just don't like how people detangle my hair like they're just rough and it hurts and I don't like it so this is something I've always done I always whether I'm straightening my hair or trimming my hair whatever the case may be I always always go with my hair washed and detangled so that's what's going on here but yeah I decided to big chop I'm doing it I know I said I was just gonna stick with it and see if maybe, you know, it's easier for me to go through with the heat damage and transition, but I've lost my patience. Um, it's just so hard. Like you see the hair, it just breaks off and I just don't like it. I don't like it. So I decided that I'm just gonna do the big chop. I'm gonna cut off all this unhealthy hair, this like dead, or just different textured hair that's just driving me crazy. Um, I'm a little, a little afraid, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't know if it's afraid or if I'm just like, maybe afraid. Like, I'm, I, it's new, it's gonna be a new process all over again. Um, I big chopped, I believe, six years ago now and this exact same hairdresser um, who cut my hair then she came back she went away she left um the state and she's back so i was like you know what i don't know if this is a sign but i need to cut my hair so i'm bringing you guys along with me i i don't know i don't know how i feel about this um she said she has to straighten my hair a little before she goes to cut my hair and I'm kind of like oh my god if I love the way my hair looks because that's what heat damage is right like the ends of my hair like the longer parts of my hair that I need to cut off is straightened and if it looks good I hope I don't like chicken out I hope I don't second guess the process and then I'm just like you know what hold up don't even cut it let's just go on with this I really hope I don't do that um I really hope I need to just suck it up Carla suck it up and just chop it all off I need to do that and then I'll probably just go do my nails I don't know if you can tell but like my nails are a mess I don't know if I'll bring you guys along with that um I think I'll just do the big chop I don't want this video to be too long I just decided last minute you know what let me just record this and bring you guys along with me I feel like I'm gonna feel so good. I feel like I'm gonna just be free. It's gonna, short hair isn't always easy. Let me start off with that. Short hair isn't always easy, but long hair isn't easy either. Like I feel like all I ever did with my hair being um, so much longer was put it in ponytails. Um, I felt, I just felt, or I feel like I did more when my hair was shorter. I did more styles and stuff so like it's a bitter it's, it's gonna be a bittersweet moment i know it is i know it's gonna be a bittersweet moment because like i'm gonna miss my hair but i know that i can do more with my hair and i know that my hair is healthy now so yeah i'm rambling not really rambling because it is a vlog and i want to tell you guys like my feelings right now as i'm driving there I want to tell you guys my feelings and my thoughts around this entire thing. And that's just how I'm feeling right now. And I'm also excited for, like, I don't know, to try products in a sense. I don't know. That was actually, I will say, that was something that I spent so much money on, in a sense, unnecessarily, because. I would buy any and every product just to try it out and it would just sit in my closet and just sit there. 
at one point I was throwing away like when I went to clean out my closet with all these products I threw out so many products it was a waste to be honest but I'm still um kind of excited to start using products because things have changed since I first cut my hair products are so much better um if you've watched my video on the aloe vera treatment I love that I love when I mix concoctions of like hair greases and oils um I feel like that made such a difference in my hair even while transitioning my hair was so much stronger I lost so much less hair I was losing way more hair than um before I started trying all these different like hair oils mixing them together and stuff like that so yeah I'm kind of excited for that I'm gonna stop I'm gonna pick up um an iced latte and then we'll meet at the hair salon that's where your natural hair starts mm -hmm. basically so if we cut it I know that's the part that gets me so sad is that in the, the back, middle and the back is not bad it's like okay in the front. but what do I do like leave it and let it grow no it's a lot of you see how it's breaking yeah well it's not bad like everywhere so if you're gonna cut it you're gonna regret it after because like your hair is good it's not damaged
okay so as you can see this is the end result um she didn't want to cut the entire thing um and as you can see she did straighten it like i said she was gonna so hopefully all is well we'll just have to see i really wasn't that concerned about um straightening my hair because i figure you know what if it's even worse or if it's fine then it's fine but if it's bad then i'll completely cut the whole thing um like i said she didn't want to cut the whole like all she didn't want to do a big chop this is pretty close i think to a big chop but she didn't want to do like a full big chop and i can feel the difference in the health already like my hair looks and feels healthier like look at that look at the flow in it it just feels so much better i'm so happy i did this um if you're thinking about doing a big chop or if you're thinking about just cutting most of your dead ends heat damage hair anything sorry about the noise i'm in the car right now um anything just do it just do it i'm so happy i did it i didn't i feel relieved i'm not as like it didn't bother me if that makes any sense like i'm not i feel fine i feel fine as much as i was freaking out before like i was just like do i want to do this do i want to do this do i want to do this um prior to going i'm fine i'm so fine guys i'm like so happy with my results look at that you can see my gray hairs um but i'm so excited i'm so happy i'm so happy i did it i'm so so happy i did it but yeah oh, such a relief such such a relief always always remember to be kind to others be kind to yourself love yourself and love others as well also remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it it was a vlog i don't usually vlog but i just wanted to bring you guys along with me and also subscribe see you in the next video guys